So we're here at uh, AES New York in uh, 2007, and this is uh, Michael Deeming uh, from Charter Oak Acoustical Devices. Michael, welcome. Uh, welcome. Well, actually, I'm, yeah, I'm at your booth. I say welcome to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Could you tell me something about uh, the start of Charter Oak? It's a fairly young company. That's right. Um, we started the company in 2002 and uh, it took about a year and a half to develop, to develop the prototype for the first product, the SA538. And um, we've uh, developed about one product per year since then. Uh, you know, uh, each product is a, you know, is a kind of a, a painstaking experimental process of, uh, you know, experimenting with components and choosing the best components to try to arrive at a, you know, distinctive sound. And I, I think we've, we've achieved that with all of our, our microphone types. Because your goal was not to build just another uh, classic microphone correct. like the German correct, correct. Our, our, product our, lines. That's right. A, a big focus of our company was to be a, a company that uh, w did not try to copy the timbral qualities of the older German microphone types. Uh, there are quite a few companies already uh, doing that. And, uh, you know, we felt that uh, it would be more of a challenge to come up with a new and distinctive sound and to, as we say, create the classics of tomorrow, you know, make, a, make new classics you know, by uh, creating a distinctive sound, really, really solid build so that the product has incredible longevity and uh, stand behind it with incredible customer service and a lifetime warranty. Now the 538 was the first product, the 538 was the first product. and then came the 538B. Could Correct. you uh, explain the difference between the two? Sure. The 538A and B version are identical uh, with the exception of the capsule. Uh, they're, they're both dual diaphragm microphones, obviously. Um, uh, the diameter of the capsule in the, in the A is 1.6 inches. Uh, it's center terminated. And uh, the, the thickness of the membrane is 6 microns. Uh, in the B version, uh, you have a 1.07 inch uh, diameter capsule, which is side terminated. And uh, the thickness of the, micron, uh, of the uh, membrane is 5 microns. So it's a little more sensitive. Um, the result of it is, is a, a, a completely different tuning for both microphones using the same head amplifier and output transformer and a different capsule. The presence peak in the Beaver, B version is situated a little bit higher. It, it runs from 10 kilohertz through 12 kilohertz. In the, in the A version, the presence peak is, is a little lower. You see it running from 8K through 10K. So, you know, they, the, the B version tends to sound better on, on females, uh, you know, and that's what, what we're seeing now is that uh, a lot of engineers and producers who are working with girls are choosing the B over the A and, and vice versa with, with uh, men tend to sound better on the, the A version of the mic, if we're talking about vocals. Both of the microphones are excellent universal applications microphones. I mean, they sound excellent on just about anything you put them in front of, acoustic guitar, percussion, piano. Uh, I use them both on just about everything. So they're very versatile. Um, these are uh, large membrane microphones. Yeah. Uh, there's also a small membrane uh, microphone. That's right. We make, we make uh, a, a, a 20 millimeter uh, capsule model, the M900, which is uh, shipped with all three capsules, cardioid, hypercardioid, and omni. Let's go over there and uh, talk uh, okay, some further. Great. Let's this is the uh, this the M900. Right. This is the this is the newest of the the uh, models that we've released. It's a small diaphragm condenser. Uh, of course, the mic is fitted with a 10 and 20 dB attenuation switch and a two-position roll-off um, at 75 hertz and 100 hertz. What is the main purpose, so, or is there, isn't there a main purpose? No, this is an all-purpose microphone. Uh, it's a very robust sounding microphone for a small diaphragm microphone. Most small diaphragm microphones are engineered to be perfectly flat, and this one we gave a really distinctive uh, EQ, which is really well suited for recording music. Uh, I, you know, we get great results with this uh, hypercardioid capsule on the snare drum. It's fantastic. It's great over the drum set in a stereo pair, great inside the piano. It's a very versatile package with all three capsules and the, you know, the uh, musical sound of the microphone. It doesn't give you an anemic sound like like a lot of small diaphragm microphones can tend to do. So, uh, you know, we're real happy with it with how it came out. Michael, thank you very much. Uh, I think uh, that uh, the next thing uh, for uh, listeners or viewers uh, is uh, to do is uh, to try them out. That's right. You and have uh, a demo. That's we're right. we're inviting them. Oh, great. Thank you again. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.